Good morning, church family. Ron Branscombe here. Get to bring to you Hebrews chapter 3 this morning, a brief summary. And uh, I want to start it off with, I'm, I'm sure probably within your family, y'all have had the, the great debate of who, who's the greatest. You know, might be like with basketball, that's a, that's a popular topic around our household. I try to tell our kids before LeBron, there was Ron. And you can laugh at that. But we, all, we, we, we do a lot of talking about, they talk about how LeBron is the greatest basketball player. And I remind them, no, Michael Jordan's the greatest basketball player. And then I remember having conversations with my uh, family and friends about how uh, Larry Bird was the greatest basketball player ahead of Michael Jordan. So it was always this, this comparison of who's the greatest. Well, in Hebrews, we have the same scenario here. You had uh, the Jews who uh, held uh, Moses to highest level, revered him. Whatever Moses said, that was it. And so the author of Hebrews, though, is painting the picture of, yeah, Moses was it, but there's there's a a greater uh, greater individual, and that is Jesus. And so. Uh, Jesus being greater than Moses and really setting the, the table for uh, those, those Jews who were struggling with worshiping the Messiah because they just missed out on the Messiah. And so this is uh, setting that table. And so we get some glimpses of that. Later on in this particular chapter, uh, the author kind of turns to a warning of unbelief. Uh, and he references uh, those who were uh, the, the Jews that were wandering and how they had to, uh, turned unfaithful or had an unbelief. And God uh, did not allow them into the land of Canaan and therefore uh, really uh, had, had rebuked them based on this unbelief. And so the author here is really trying to remind the Jews of Jesus is the greatest, and also you must recognize that and you must finish strong. You cannot uh, turn and develop an unbelief. Um, in the, the, the final verse there in 18, and to whom did God swear that they would never enter his rest, if not to those who disobeyed? So we see that they were not able to enter because of their unbelief. And what a shame uh, that uh, those who had uh, had wandered during that time, those Jews who had spent all that time going through uh, leaving Egypt and how their unbelief kept them from entering the land of Canaan. But we have the very same issue at hand today is the unbelief that occurs. And those who do have an unbelief of Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior will not enter the kingdom of heaven. That's a brief summary of chapter three of the book of Hebrews. I love the book of Hebrews. It's a great book. I pray that you'll have a great day and keep following along with us. Take care and God bless.